In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Beat Saber version to 1.37.0 and modify it to be able to play custom maps on the MetaQuest 3S, 3 or the MetaQuest 2. Our first step is to install the latest version of Beat Saber from the Meta Store. In case you already have Beat Saber installed, make sure you've updated it to the latest version. And if you have already a modded version of Beat Saber installed, better uninstall it and install the clean vanilla version. Step 2 is to create a developer account on the Meta website. Before you are able to create an organization, you have to either add your credit card or add your phone number for two-factor authentication. Done that, you can click Create Organization. The name of your organization doesn't really matter. We just need to do that step to be able to activate developer mode on your quest. Now open your MetaQuest app on your phone, click Devices, connect to your MetaQuest, click Developer Mode and activate Developer Mode. After that, connect your Quest to your Windows computer and visit mbf.bsquest.xyz with either Chrome, Edge or Opera. Do not use Firefox. Click on Connect to Quest and if you did the previous steps correctly, it should now show your hardware and you can click Connect. Don't forget to approve the connection inside your Quest. Your installed Beat Saber version is checked and if everything is OK, it will suggest to downgrade and modify it. This process will take several minutes. I have speeded up here. All the core mods are now installed and you can start playing Beat Saber with custom maps. Anyway, you now have the chance to add some optional mods as well. Beat Saver Voting allows you to up or down rate a custom map after you played it. Better Song Search is perfect for finding and adding new songs while you are in Beat Saber. You might also want to install Chroma and Noodle extension to support special visual effects. And the replay mod allows you to review your gameplay. That's it. Enjoy playing Beat Saber. Let me know in the comments if this tutorial was helpful to you. And subscribe my channel to stay updated when there is a new way to modify your quest.